So this is the Pawn Guild. Hello. Can I help you? Then I bid you farewell. You can summon pawns as necessity demands here at the Pawn Guild. Beyond those gates lies the Duke's castle, I warrant. Hello. Can I help you? Can I bid you? Smithy, I should think. Merciful Maker. Please. Please, me. Sir, I know it is not a matter fit to thrust upon a passing stranger, but... Please, I ask only that you listen a while. Just a short while. Thank you, sir. This child is... is my son. Was my son. His heart stopped not a few hours past. Always weak, his sweetheart, since he was but a babe. I had long known he would not live long. But to see it, to watch him slip from my grasp, I am left with naught but rage at my impotence. Fain to try any means that I might to bring him back, I look to magic, even curses. Anything to bring him back to me. I know it for madness, but still I... Here, pray, accept thee, sir. The first of those stones I bought from a merchant my son and I passed in our travels. He spoke of a powerful magic within it. Gather rocks such as this together, he said, and even the dead shall wake. Not that I am one to blindly believe in such tales, mind. Yet still, I thought there no harm in trying. And so I searched, but by the time I found a second, the whole pursuit rang hollow. It is a vain hope to seek immortality in such trinkets, I know. I felt a fool for having ever believed it. In my search, I've come to learn that tales of such stones as wake the dead are far from rare. My son's condition grew worse. In my desperation, I scoured each passing town for any rumor or legend it might hold. Some claimed the stones came from beyond the rift. Others cautioned that all hope of revival dies when corruption begins to take the body. Another says the stone's power to call back the dead relies upon the strength of the wielder. If that is true, there's little use in the likes of me collecting them. But perhaps in the hands of one such as the Arisen? No. Forgive me, sir. I fear I am well mad with grief. I've heard talk that wakestones can be found in the Everfall. What meaning do you suppose those stones hold?
suppose the merchants have need of open space to ply their trades. Everfall. The final shard of Wakestone lies within the Everfall. We must find the Wakestone shards while the boy's soul yet lingers. A stone to recall the dead to living. You speak of Wakestones arisen. Stones red as blood, and sorcelled with arcane magic. The Reaper's Scorn, they're also called. Strange you should mention it. I heard tell a traveling merchant found one in a cave not a few days past. It may come to naught. But you might seek the stone on the shelves of Grand Soren's shops. Not we could find would surprise me. I feel a pulse nearby. A weak stone arisen. Ha! <laughs> 
place hide something. Shall we take a look? Wake stone arisen. It is close. Quickly to Austin. Tales are true. There may yet be hope for his son. Let's do what we're able, for Austin's sake. The door switch is this way. Lever affects every door in the ruins at once. Seems using this. 
this lever affects every door in the ruins at once. Seems using this lever affects every door in the ruins at once. affects every door in the ruins at once. <laughs> Seems using this lever affects every door in the ruins at once. Stone to recall the dead to living. You speak of wake stones arisen. Stones red as blood. Strange. It may. Be they man or pawn, it is hard to do aught alone. You can summon pawns as necessity demands here at the pond. Beyond those gates lies the dearest castle I've The wake stones arisen. Not in dread. That stone! You've gathered enough? Perhaps with those, my son. But I fear I have not the strength to conjure their fate. A miracle! Tis a miracle! Father, I. Wilhelm, sweet Wilhelm. I've gained quest knowledge. We made it. I feel more familiar Thank goodness. with this quest now. Words cannot express my thanks, sir. I owe you more than I can ever hope to repay. You've returned my son to me. Tis the maker's work you do, sir. The world is truly blessed to have you. Arisen. A man can get a notion of the size of an army by the count of the arms they buy. Father. The dead breathe once more. It is a queer sight. for livestock, no doubt.
take that. the point to it all anyway. There's a road cuts the Leah in twain, running north to south. Set out from here and we'll be on the path to... Grand Sorin, the beating heart of all Grandsis. Seems this way leads outside as well. I suppose the merchants have need of open space to ply their trades. Must be nice being a risen and all. I wager you earn enough coin for some finer weapons, for one. Seems the castle walls are reached by a flight of stairs ahead. From day to night, this area feels completely different. Is some hero fit to slay the dragons come to Grand Sori? That you, is it?
Ah, Arisen. My men have told me much of you. I have expected your visit. I am Sir Maximilian Eisenstern, Captain of the Hunt, so named by His Grace Duke Edmund Dragonsbane. I beg your forbearance whilst I detail what is expected of you in the hunt. The worm hunt license you carry permits the bearer to undertake the most vital of tasks. Those missions given by Duke Edmund himself. Of late, all our will is focused on learning of and defending against the wicked dragon. A weighty task, to be sure, but one which the fate of the realm and its people rests upon. I am under orders to lend Arisen all reasonable aid as they might require. I would pray you return this assistance in kind. Many hopes are pinned upon you, sir. It will be my honor to show you the ready charges for the worm hunt. The choice is yours. Certainly. Then here are the details. I have important work for you, though some is of a less urgent nature. The task at hand is just such a case. Will you take it on? As I was setting about to find work for you, I came upon this slate. I know not its origin, nor its age, but the writing it bears is old. So old, our men could only read a few words. Dragon, scar, arisen, heart. What little we know all points to you, sir. Best you should have it. If there's aught of import written there, we need to know. Your task is to find out. None may enter the castle without permission. We'd best find someone who knows of that slate. We'd best find someone who knows of that slate. It will be my honor. The choice is yours. Certainly. We have urgent word from the Stone of the Southwest. A horde of goblins struck the fortress while it was still under repair, and they've claimed it. Though the hold is remote, its importance to our southern defenses is critical. We must reclaim it, and soon the safety of the entire duchy rides on this matter. I would ask your help in resolving it. You have my thanks, sir. I shall send word to the hold presently. I've sent some of the Duke's swords on ahead already. Meet them there and lend them your arm. I await good word of your success. It would be my honor to show you the ready chart. The choice is yours, certainly. Then here are the details. I fear this task is no simple call to action, sir. It will no doubt take time and a more subtle approach than your other work. Perhaps you've heard of the society they call Salvation. In truth, most of what we know is the product of such hearsay. They are a band of heretics who worship the dragon and welcome the perdition it brings. In the chaos come with the worm's arrival, their influence has grown. Ill news indeed. Pray, keep watch for signs of salvation as you go about your business. If you find all, tell me. Good. I'll rest easier for it, sir. It will be my honor. The choice is yours. Of course. Give the word. It will be my honor. The choice is yours. Certainly. Then here are the details. By the Duke's decree, we spare no effort in gathering knowledge concerning the worm. As one arm of that pursuit, we aid the faith in their examination of ruins and relics. One such ruin has of late become home to monsters. We've received a request for escort. They've asked for you by name, sir. What response might I give them? My thanks, sir. His Grace has commanded the utmost attention be given to such matters. Pray, speak to Father Geoffrey at the cathedral in the city for details of the task. Were the decision mine, I would set every man we have to defending our strongholds. But such is our duty. serves as a hub among the land's abbeys where our members correspond. Not that we find time for such matters now the dragon's upon us.
Well met, good Arisen. Tis a heartening boon to have your assistance in our endeavors. I will not keep you long, for the survey party has already set out from Grand Soren. They walk south to the ruins of the falls, near the encampment. I know not what dangers await there, but I will rest easily knowing you accompany them. Pray fly now to their side and keep watch over them. Make her speed your steps, sir. You must be the Arisen, he who commands the pawns. Even at its worst, the world is ever home to hope. Poor Bodrick. He wasn't always mad, you know. He was once a scholar of renown. Spent his days poring over tomes about what lies beyond the rift. One day, he up and vanished. We all took him for perished, but after a time, there he was, wandering the city, spouting his sing-songy rattle. Pawns serve their purpose in times like these, El but that's no... I joined the guard to battle foreign hordes, not beasts from the smoke of myth and legend. For myself, I aim to put down roots in a shop of my own. Many fled the dragon, never to return, so good land is both plentiful and cheap. You'll find naught but the finest wares here. And not thank you very much. This must be an alehouse. I see you're old at work on an errand, friend. Pray take all the time you need. Truly, man is a marvelous creature. Even in these dire times, desires abound. Where desperation might take hold, dreams instead arise. As long as man yet dreams, this world will manage well enough. Mark my words. That makes folk in the trade of making dreams turn true the saviors of the world, eh? Folks like you and me, tis work well worth doing. Patrons off post work notices in the alehouse. Many's the person comes to drink here, all bearing different tales. Me, I've no love of mag- I am- The master works all. The master works all. Master works all, you can't come again. Hear ye, Have you equipment ye, to attend to all! The Arisen has appeared, what to take up arms against the fearsome dragon! Given leave to travel the land by Duke Ebnon himself, the Arisen! I hear congratulations are due, friend. Appointed to the hunt, are you? Have your pick, any you like. What will it be today? Have your pick, any you like. Come again soon. Slay 
Here we can rest, How do you manage fare? inventory and skills. At present, over half of the core is made of cell swords from other lands. Each outstrips the next in skill and judgment. They are unlike your pawn. Take care, do they come? Wes, take all the time you Take all the time you the time you love. Take all the time you like. Do come again. The city has amenities to suit every need. Armorers, apothecary. Weather year round makes Gramsus well suited for human life. Leave it to me, Master. We share these roads with traveling peddlers. No harm must come to our charge. Food. A good start to any task is talking with others. Let's begin with that. An imposing structure afore it fell, I'm sure. All roads lead to Grand Soaring. Yet rising monster populations have made roads hazardous in recent years. Careful! A goblin! between the encampment and the capital, I warrant. This place must have seen a ferocious battle. Watch for a goblin ambush ahead, Arisen. No harm must come to our charge.
creature dives! Keep an eye turned to the shadows. This is a fine place to lie in ambush. path diverges. With so many twists, it's hard to see what lies ahead. Never forget, constant vigilance. They're master harpies! We were the harpies! Small teeth! Harpies! You can't target the Aris! The harpies will snatch you in the dark! I have it! Every beast has its weakness. It is no surprise, of course, that many abandoned their as well. It hates fire! Grand Sorin stands beyond this way castle. Quite the grand structure. A way castle, perhaps. Follow this road north and we'll hit Grand Soren. The stone makes a regrettably effective wall. The sea is closer than I'd imagined. The road splits here. Let's be doubly sure of which will see us to our destination. Pray the day monsters no longer haunt the roads is not far off. It is difficult to walk such a narrow path. What a large tree. It is even larger up close. Doubly so with aught in hand.
This isn't the way to the capital. I wonder where it leads. Who knows what lies in wait? Let's proceed with caution. We're apt to meet bandits and thieves as oft as peddlers, Master. Be watchful. Many twists, it's hard to see what lies ahead. This scenery is quite a change. They're armed, Master. Hold nothing back! They attack in quick succession. <laughs> There's no way we could have lost to that. Seems this road doesn't get much use. Look, there's a stronghold of some sort by the sea. Shall restore your health. Hold on. At present, over half of the core is made of cell swords. Each at they are unlike. I'll heal your wounds. They're armed, Master. Many alive. <laughs>
Master. Pray be careful. and rife with spots where useful materials may hide. Ranged attacks serve well in wide open spaces. If there's not to see here, let's press on. Fine. Best we give that place a wide berth. Armed rogues. They're left exposed after a grand Fine. strike. Cause to get too close, monster, and plenty of reasons for it. It is an impressive structure. <laughs> Bandits, master. Very be careful. This looks interesting. Thieves are no. We've not to gain from unnecessary combat. I feel half a thief myself, sauntering through this place. This fort was built by a duke of old. I reckon it's worth investigating. I sense something nearby. A bird, perhaps, or... bigger. A stronghold? Here? What could it be meant to defend? Thief myself, sauntering through this place. The road splits here. Wolves hold. Doubly sure of which will see us to our destination. This area is likely rich in rabbit and other wild game.
There's no way we could have lost to that. Leave it to me. Ice, lend thy bite! Out to the bone! Interesting. It is difficult to judge distance when facing foes across such open plains. He's a formidable foe! Hold on. Goblin! 
roots of this sort of tree oft yield useful herbs and other plants. Stronger than a common goblin! That's all. I can only hope this forest will someday be rid of monsters. Hot goblin! He's a formidable god! to that. Anytime. Thank <laughs> you. 
take that. I have too long, and the sun may set on our errand. Be wary. Hello. Can I help you? Then I bid you fail. This, the monsters that hurry us so, it was not always in their nature. Be wary of anyone we encounter out here. Trust no one. We can scale this mountain, provided we sort out the shallowest slopes. This path runs the canyon floor. We'll need to stay wary. Keep an eye turned to the shadows. The canyon floor is an apt spot to find ourselves surrounded. We'd best be careful. What purpose do you suppose those men's post serves? Cloud of a bit of time yet? Think on it well. Bit of time yet? Think on it. Well. Come back whenever you. Aye, tease. Just name it, sir. Name it, sir. Oh, that one is it. As you like. Swift, be wary.
learned a new way to fight. <laughs> Stay wary, Master. Visibility is poor ahead. I'll heal your wounds. Ice, lend thy voice! It is a far cry from the roads we're accustomed to, that's for certain. Be near the beast's nest. Head softly. Look at these goblin tracks. They are troublesome in groups. <laughs> this passage links south and central branches. Splendid woodland, and so rich in resources. The worm's coming has driven beasts to flood in Careful, from the mountains. A goblin! of time. Never one for hiding spots in the forest. Hop them. By the looks of it, it is a grand and sturdy fortress. It is known as the Shadow Fort. I thank you. It is very kind. Met, sir. I take you for the Arisen. Sir Maximilian informed us of your coming. By your leave, I would ask you spearhead our force here. Our tactics are as such. 
We aim to strike from the front gate, but lack the time and means to batter down the doors. I ask that you pass through the hole you see there, and lay open the gate from within. I cannot say what may await you within. The danger is great, but I trust you will prevail. I've learned of this area. The guard is spared. We can only pray. Even sentry. How could this have happened? <laughs> 